Hello, hello, and a very warm welcome to Tarot and Oracle Cards for Every Day by Healing Hand Services, and my name is Julie Sean. Today is Thursday, the 7th of January. It's literally 12 noon here in the UK. I'm very cold out. Um, grey clouds but hey i'm snug and warm inside i have been out today had to de-ice the car but we did it we got out i think i need if it's like this tomorrow i'm gonna to have to wear my gloves okay so without any more to do the deck i am using is an oracle card deck beyond lemuria oracle cards by izzy ivy and here they are and uh let's oh they are quite large if you look at my tarot deck you can see they are quite large and for someone like me who has <laughs> who has small hands i do struggle a bit with them so actually some of these sort of like upside down and around the wrong way i think hang on it was because i was teaching oracle cards last night um yeah as one does teach and so i was teaching about oracle cards and this was one of the decks i was using and of course they're all hickledy pickledy so let's see what the angels and archangel spirits and guys have to say and connecting with the lemuria let's connect with them and see what message they have for us today okay we're off we're off and running we are off and running. So let's get going. Let's get going. Let's get going. Because they're also quite new. They're a bit stiff. So I'm finding they're a little bit harder to shuffle. I'm loving them. I'm loving. I mean, look at the back. Even the back of the card is beautiful. Okay. Let's see what they have to say for us. Oh, um, no, yeah, no, they're just stuck. They're stuck. No, no, not the ones. Let's get them back in properly and shuffle properly. I was getting terribly excited then, thought that was one, but it was more than one. Okay, that has just fallen out. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we are going to take this card. This card is full spectrum. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Full spectrum. Right at the bottom are crystal skulls. We have that beautiful 3D star. We've got in her legs and here is all very earth ground. She's got in her ground in her base chakra she's got a beautiful flower telling you to connect with the ground connect with mother nature she's got all the chakras there red orange yellow um there's green blue and indigo so connecting with your seven major chakras she's also connecting with her her, her so her ground base oh god earth earth chakra which is in the earth she's also connecting with the higher so it's saying full spectrum connect the whole of you not just your physical body connect with your um spiritual body your connect with your aura connect with the universe she's standing there she's thinking she's connecting she's got well, first of all i saw it i was going to say she's having a light bulb moment but it's not a light bulb. Let's bring it. It's like a massive big diamond above her head. So the colour, because it goes red, indigo, violet, and then the colours get like platinum and white. So this is really connecting. The flowers are out in blossom. So they she is blossoming. They are white. They are white flowers which connect with spirituality her wings are like to me they're what i would call insect wings so she's connecting with the fairies and the elementals you can tell the difference between angel wings and fairy wings angel wings are normally made out of feathers 
Fairy wings are made out of insects such as dragon, dragonfly wings, butterfly wings, ladybird wings, anything that's got wings, moths. That is how you can tell the difference between a fairy and an angel. An angel normally is represented by feathers. So if you ever see the wings of an insect lying around, that's a message from your fairies. If you see a feather, that's a message from your angels. So she is connecting with Earth, the ground, Mother Earth, Mother Earth. She's connecting with the elements, Earth, air, fire and water in her whole body. And she's connecting definitely with spirit. She's connecting with everything. Look at all the colours. Look at all the symbology we have there. There's some, even round, I was talking yesterday in class that someone says they didn't like the borders. But what, um, and yes, it looks like she's got a borders here around the card, but it's like pillars. She's being supported because the pillars themselves have got images in them as well. So she's been supported in everything she's wanting to do. She's actually kneeling down. You know when you kneel down and give thanks? So she looks like she's giving thanks. And it says full spectrum. Coming out of the diamond are roots. She's rooted into Mother Earth. She's rooted into the crystal um, skulls. She's rooted into everything she does. So let's see what... Um, this is card number 26. Handy shoes there. Oh, and it opened immediately oh my gosh immediately on the page of the full spectrum so let us see um izzy's interpretation of this card there is so much energy and so much visualization in here that you could almost do the reading without using um izzy's interpretation but i like to read her interpretations so her first part of the interpretation is creating heaven on earth by honoring the perfection of nature's circle cycles going beyond the judgment of good and bad and merging of duality raw nature earth wisdom connecting to ancestors shadows as the fertile soil for exponential growth the way forward is in the whisperings of the land honoring the full spectrum of life Yes, absolutely. Because we've got the crystal skulls, but skulls is, you know, when you die, what's left? Just your skeleton, the skull. What does heaven on earth look like to you? Do you imagine lush green nature, ancient forests, pristine beaches, crystalline water systems, and all the planet's residents in full health, living in harmony with each other? And yet nature in its purest, rawest form is a balance of life and death, growth and decomposition and eaten and be eaten. In one way or another, this is the natural flux of life. We already live in Eden, but our efforts to own the segregates bring us further away from this paradigm. Power trips, the need for imagined security, fear or avoidance of the shadow keep us out of our freedom this is so true the need to preserve and hold on tightly only stunts our growth and leaves us drowning in a sea of plastic the real disease on earth the barrier to eden is in our minds life happens but it is our perception of good and bad and of black and white judgments that prevent us from seeing the grander truth. When duality becomes one, we will find Shambhala before us. Perhaps we can find inspiration from nature and the animal kingdom. Absolutely. Does the tiny frog spend its day anxious over its vulnerable future? What happens when we realise fertile compost greets us when we allow ourselves to transmute our pain? When we honour all that came before, our roots are nourished and we grow with more vitality, vibrancy and life force. We can anchor more light for the collective and in turn seed new growth. God, this is amazing. 
What happens when we realise the keys to our future are in the wisdom of the earth and the dreamings of the indigenous? That the answers are in the geometry of the macro and the microism, the nurturing embrace of oneness in mama nature's arms. What happens when we find peace within the full spectrum of life? Even the notion of separation, this disease can be symbolised as no more than a blackened leaf on a healthy tree. The ebb and flow of our evolution and devolution is a temporary blip in the universe. The message is to be what we can to ground heaven on earth, but not out of fear. We often try to avoid or run from negative situations, but when fear steers our decisions and actions, far more devastation can result. When we choose to let our hearts lead us away from stories and outdated patterns, our challenges become the fertile compost that feeds our ascending tendrils as they reach to the heavens and ground its light back onto earth. Oh, what powerful message here. Her divinatory meaning, this is Izzy's meaning of this full spectrum card. I just think this is awesome. She's saying, step out of the black and white mentality of judgment. Go beyond the concepts of good and bad. This card invites you to honour the full spectrum of life and find a new way of perceiving your situation. When we judge something, we create a story around it. These stories often create limitation. Subconsciously, we gather so many of these stories over a lifetime to heal our dis-ease and crystallise the new way. We need to create a space of no story where miraculous healing can happen. This space empowers us to be all we are and allows us to know the truth. Embrace the full spectrum of creation in all of her colours and the raw, muddy, earthbound shadow parts of a situation to determine whether they are actually bad or if the stories you hold on to are limiting your perspectives. Oh my gosh. Creating heaven on earth by honouring the perfection of nature cycles, going beyond the judgment of good and bad, the merging of duality, raw nature, earth wisdom, connecting to our ancestors, shadows as the fertile soil for exponential growth. The way forward is in the whisperings of the land, honouring the full spectrum of life. Um, Yeah, darkness of the ground. Yeah, you plant a seed into the ground. You're planting it into the darkness. It The seed um, feeds off the um, darkness of the, the soil, the fertiliser feeds and grows and then it comes through the top of the earth and out into the light get out of your comfort zone once in a while absolutely joe absolutely hi donna hi joe absolutely what an awesome message you need to step out of your self-imposed boundaries and embrace the full spectrum of yourself embrace the full spectrum of life from the moment you're conceived to the moment you're born, to the moment you die, to the moment your body turns in from ashes to ashes to dust to dust, and it then feeds back into the earth. It's a cycle. It's like to be eaten, eaten. You look at the food chain. The bird, the chicken eats the worm. We eat the worm. Yeah, excellent. Absolutely. But what does the worm eat? The worm eats the little microisms. So, yeah, and it goes from smaller to bigger. Yeah, I know the, the, the bigger the animal, the, the more the we eat the smaller one. But, you know, but full spectrum embrace. Look, there's the full spectrum there. She's got m more than the seven chakras. She's got earth, air, fire, water. She's got her human body. She's got her spiritual body. She's kneeling down on Mother Earth but she's reaching high up to the heavens and the universe. She's embracing the full spectrum of everything. We've got the flowers blossoming, got the knowledge of our ancestors, the crystal skulls. And then she's got the green heart center, 
working from her heart with pure love and healing awesome awesome card i hope you've enjoyed that reading full spectrum but from the cards beyond lemuria by izzy ivy if anyone would like a reading themselves message me i'm happy to do half hour readings or full readings so let me know if you'd like to book one have an awesome day take care namaste angel blessings bye